had to get an envelope. Today's Mother's Day. One, one man. I went in and correctly said the word for envelope. It's easy, fairly easy to say. And uh, asked if they had one, what color was available. I picked, I picked pink sea shampoo and uh, smiled and bowed a lot and uh, everybody was happy, including me. How about that? I'm gonna made a fairly easy, rational, as you get older, these things are rational decisions more than emotional uh, uh, to me. And I um, mean, it was a fairly easy, rational decision to do something nice for Fawn's mom. I wonder why the mortality rate for young men is so high in Thailand. Ah, there we go. Let me get over to a better spot here. Uh, we got a little bit of a sunset behind the clouds. I'm not even going to bother with this phone. You won't be able to see any of it. It's it's rather, rather pretty sky. Possibly a storm coming. Beautiful breeze. Um, what did I do today? Today's Mother's Day in Thailand. So my joke all day was uh, Paw Bok Leo, one e one Paw. Kun Paw told me already it's it's Kun Paw Day. So um, and the men laughed. Kun Paw laughed a lot about that. And then of course the boys thought that was funny. Um, I made a decision to uh, try and do some good, so uh, I did an envelope with some money in it for, uh, for her mom. She liked that. Uh, we had to then redo the handing over and take pictures and stuff, because it's in Thailand when you're working, there's, you have to have photos of the work you did. You have, if you can't see it, then now there's doubt. It is like the Missouri state. You know, Some people make fun of it, and I guess you can, but uh, I'm living here now, and there's no point in making fun of the people around me, and it's just a different culture, you know. I mean, in, in Detroit, it's considered really cool to look like a slob and be a bum, and, or not a slob, look like you have absolutely no money at all, like maybe middle class at best, and be hunkin' rich. Like, that's a thing. Like, wow, that guy's cool. Like, we're the opposite, but why is that a thing? So, who, who's to say, right? Who cares? I did a workout today, uh, killed my back. I think, I, I think the massage I had yesterday, they, did, they do Thai, traditional Thai massage, which is what I get. Uh, they twist you a little bit, and I told her to stop, and she went a little further. I think that, that t t maybe pinched me a little, but quite a bit of pain today. Uh, a lot of gabapentin and ibuprofen today, and still it was painful. That's a little scary. Used a chili pepper cream. Only gave me maybe an hour of relief. Usually that's three to six hours of relief. So I'm about to take all those drugs and bomb all over again here in a minute because I need it. Uh, it's, that's just, that's just, other than that, I feel okay, and I think at the same time I overworked my lower core. My lower core holds my lower spine together, and I've just figured this whole lower core out the last two or three months, and that's what's been giving me the the, 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 the progress. And I think I effed up with my lower core work. So between that and the massage, maybe overdoing it at the same time, I think that's what got me. So I just you know be on it better next week is all I can do. Um, I took the family out to dinner for Mother's Day. Um, you know, uh, big day today, big hero for Rob, a big hero day for Rob, you know, and, and uh, I, I, I spent uh, maybe $100 today. So, uh, uh, other than that, I'm on budget for the month rather well, other than that, and this will be absorbed and be nothing in my month, so I won't even notice it, so uh, that's fine. Um, things are going great with my boy back home, that's all good. He had a little moment of some, you know, a little emotional issues, a couple of things, and I talked to him about it, and I think he's fine. Really can't get there soon enough to spend some time with them. Kind of regretting I only have like three and a half weeks or something, but it is what it is. And uh, you know, I wasn't sure we'd have the apartment when I booked the trip. And you know, when I'm there, I'll see if I can use the Orbitz app and, and maybe extend it a few days or a week. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. To it might be rough. He works and stuff, and I everyone, all my friends will be busy. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I have no idea what to expect really. So I can't say. A good day. Took a nap. Uh, rested and read and studied some Thai a little bit and I study a little bit of Thai every day for sure and still heavy on the weight still have not lost any weight on the diet I was doing pretty good and then the Mugata I'm done I'm not having Mugata until I come back from my from the states so I'm gonna wait till like the holidays or something I'm, I, I can't do this um, you know, other than that, I mean, uh, just a quiet day. You know, and, and, and think of it this way. So I'm doing all this quiet village stuff. You know, yay me, this is what I, I like. I, I like it simple. And I like the autopilot of having a life that kind of goes and does something because Swan's got goals and things to do. And I can, if I just don't want to think about what I need to do that day, I always have a default mode if I can just then pal, pal along with her for one to three hours or something. 
you know, or if I want to, rather than being bored staying at my place all day, because I, I, I am somewhat immobile, okay, um, I can then get on my motorcycle, which has been perfectly modified to my spine. It does not hurt my back to ride the bike up to maybe 45 minutes now with the new handlebars. And that's an estimate. I haven't ridden that far. I haven't ridden that far yet. That's an estimate. But um, and I can go meet her for lunch, meet her for a tea, meet her at work for a little bit and, and edit my YouTube videos and just sit there. Or sit there and read a book if the weather's lovely and there's a nice breeze there, you know, and it's just greater. Um, and today I spent some time. I, I chilled for about 40 minutes at a friend's house. We just had a nice little chat. Talked about bicycles, and motorcycles, the weather, retirement, you know, all that. Um, I do want to, I'll do an upcoming video. I just don't want any heavy content right now. I got a ton of heavy content on the channel now, more coming. Um, but I, I will get into it because we have to. I've got a couple guys in my village that are really bad off. Nice guys. The one guy I know better than the other, and he's a very bright man, and he was a very wealthy man, and, I, and, and, and through a series of poor decisions and trusting the wrong tiny women, he, he, is, he is no longer wealthy. He has no wealth at all to worry about. And the other guy is way poorer than that. The other guy is, is a, essentially begging for food or getting free food at the local temple. He's, he's, he's just getting the food. At the, if you're really poor, you can go to the temple, and they have to feed you. They, they're, they are, these are good Buddhist you know, caring people, and they will help you. They really will. I mean, even if you're a big jerk, they'll still help you, uh, is my understanding. So, um, anyways, this one guy's down to that, and he used to be rich. Uh, he built a classic story, built a seven or eight million bot house. I mean, a, a mansion. He built a mansion here. Uh, in the five to ten million range for sure, but closer to ten than five. You can't build that house for five million bot. There's no way. Um, if it wouldn't be betraying someone's confidence, uh, confidentiality and, 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 and all that, I, I'd show it because the house is really a piece of work. It's really something. But, um, of course, it's fallen into disrepair. You can't afford to keep it. But anyways, um, yeah, but, but anyways, back to Mother's Day. Great day. Oh, and the mom really loved me, giving her some an envelope and all that. And that went over big. Um, interestingly, had a fight, fight. Fawn really disappointed me last night. She really way underperformed as a Thai wife, just really argumentative and selfish. And she's young, and she's and Thais tend to be young for their age compared to us. And she might even be a little young for a Thai, you know. In her, and it's sweet in a lot of ways. It's so youthful, the vibrance. It it, it makes you feel alive. It's like anything. There's two sides to it. And uh, but I was I was annoyed. I was annoyed, and I'd had enough. And I just said, "You go to bed. You know, just quiet." you know, uh, what she did, and uh, I stayed up a little bit like I usually do when I read. She always goes to sleep before me because she works, and uh, I like to get her, I always try to get her to sleep, you know, and uh, and then in the morning she woke up and, and she was extremely affectionate and really wanted to make up, and then and, and Kotod, Kotod is an apology. She, I got about 10 or 20 Kotods from her, which is not a joke, that's a serious apology, and her, she always managing her cows. Oh, he's trying to come in. Yep. And I like that one's got horns, so now my, 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 back. That's a, now, hey, technically I'm a cowboy. If we could have done this in space, I'd be a space cowboy. That sounds badass. Anyways, um, no, and it was, and, you know, we walked through it, and, I, and, and she knew, and, and uh, anyways, th 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 this is the part of, one of the sides of her that I really, really love. That, so now what she needs to do is go to this one temple that she really likes. And she needs to make a merit with me and pray and stuff and pray about our relationship that she'll be better for me and, and not make problems. I mean, does that not melt your heart or what? I mean, she really, even when she's a little impetuous and whatnot, you can see 100% her heart's in the right place. So you got to dig that. And that's not what I'm used to, believe me. That's, I'm used to an ulterior motive and there's a plan that does not involve my happiness. And this is the opposite of that. And I can get used to that. I have gotten used to that. Uh, but no, uh, oh, I was trying to make a point, and I, I distracted myself. So, you know, that's, that's the, my economics professor in college, the beer and pizza thing. He, he says, look, you want to buy a new motorcycle, great. Calculate how many cases of beer and how many pizzas with your pals you can order. He, this is a serious economics example, and this is taught at many universities around the world. He says this is a classic economics example, equivalent of goods and, and, and cost, and what would you prefer? And would you rather have the 40 nights with your friends or this used motorcycle from your second cousin or whatever? And, and, and when you know which one you like better, now you really know what you really want. And I always think of that. So I have fun, and she's great. 
and if I have a doubtful moment, I can, and I, or if I want to just, it's, if I want to reassure myself, that's what it is. I want to, I want to aver my own prior decision, my own prior choice. Okay, that's what this is. Sorry. Uh, then what I can easily do is I can say, great, I could have someone, you know, really smoking hot. I can. I mean, you, you, you can, and and I might even be at a point where I could even get one somewhat equitably, you know, not just, not. Not just straight up pay for play. It'd be a little bit of work, but I could do it. Okay, and great. What are all the negatives that come with that? What's the level of trust you get with that? What is that person going to help you with your visa? Does that mean my visa was a breeze? You know, my licenses, both of them, motorcycle and car, piece of cake. Re-registering my motorcycle, 90-day check-in. I go in and I do it all myself and tie because she's walked me through it like 10 times or whatever. You know and all that and I have a ton of ADD you might be saying geez Rob that's nothing I did the first time myself good for you I can't do that I have ADD really bad that's hard for me so she helps with all those things um, lots of ladies Fawn is really sharp and she has the ability to be very helpful and you know, that that might not be a super common thing amongst the young ladies looking for a foreign husband because most of them are looking for an easier path just like Unfortunately, one of our friends that we kind of kicked out, we don't talk to her anymore, um, she, uh, right after her wedding day, right after we showed up and gave her a gift, and I even, is that one of the weddings? No, I didn't stand up in that one. Uh, uh, but I, stood, I stood out, I'll tell you. You know, I got a lot of attention there, and I made sure I was really good with her and, and, her, and her new husband and all that and make fun look good. Um, it's like uh, a celebrity showing up in a small town uh, uh, high school reunion. You, that's the treatment you get if you're a falang and, you, and you're and you're polite and you speak a little and you look pretty good. You look is everything. You're gonna get an enormous amount of attention. Anyways, uh, having said all that, uh, two months after this wedding, she 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 calls Fawn and says, if you can find a falang for me like Rob, I'd like to just have something like that. And, and I don't I don't this marriage stuff is a lot of work. I don't need it. That's really nice, huh? And a lot of people, not just the women, women are all bad. It's, it's just people these days. They want an easy path. And Fawn's willing to do the work. She works 60 hours a week. We added it up last night. I, I told her, I think you work 60 hours a week. And she goes, no, I don't. And I go, well, this, 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 and that, that. And she goes, oh, hoax sip, hoax sip. Hoax sip is 60. She goes, chai, chai, yeah. So she works all those hours. She takes care of her boys, which is a family thing in Thailand. And often the mother plays a secondary role with her own children. That's super common. That's Fawn's case. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's their way. And the family's all happy. That I could explain the whole thing, but I don't feel like it right now. But they're all happy. This is all working. This is all proper and appropriate and then she has uh, and I don't ask for much she makes she cooks for me every three days which is about all I really want I want something help her make me something that I really like every three to five days you know once or twice a week really is all and and then she keeps the house really clean and really takes care of my clothes and just you know takes care of me personally and such and and you know, the, the, the concierge things you know and then and, and it's, it's, it's a fair bit but but uh, yeah I'm told every so often she keeps commenting, talking to her other friends who have a foreign husband. She goes, I'm the easiest. The other ones are all way more demanding. So we'll talk about that sometime. Anyway, so Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day in Thailand if you're here. And uh, all that good stuff. So, bye. Okay. I'm just going to probably make this short. Like it end up being a bonus footage or something. A little update. Uh, yesterday is the worst back pain I've had in two years. That's really not good considering I had major spinal surgery twice in that time period. Um, I think the massage therapist, her name is Gayo, like a glass, <clears throat> I think uh, she over-rotated my spine. We should be doing just like 10 degrees of rotation. She did like 25. Um, I also had one day later, I did some leg and core exercises that were somewhat aggressive. Uh, I, very, I was very careful not to move my spine in the wrong way, but I could have inadvertently and not known it. So I could have contributed or even been the cause. But uh, I did two rounds of a full dose of gabapentin with a full dose of ibuprofen. And by full dose, that's a fairly large amount, plus the topical pain gel, plus a cold pack. I pulled every trick of the book out I could, and I still was in some pain. Um, that was rough. Overnight, it did go down. Now I'm back to a normal level again. I'm 24 hours. It's never, it's never stops, but I'm back down to a normal level. That's, I've gotten used to it. It's like when you have static in something after a while, you don't hear it anymore. It's, it's kind of like that. Uh, anyway, so Sunday morning, Ken and Kim are over, which is fine. They're being very good. 
Um, I did a Mother's Day video uh, about yesterday, which was Mother's Day here. I made some choices uh, some, from the heart. You, if you're disingenuous and you're just lying and you're lying to people, and I don't think, I don't, I've never really seen lies long term bring anyone anything good, really. I mean, we all do it from time to time, and really it doesn't help, you know. Uh, Anyhow, I did it from the heart, but I, but also I figured it was a, a, a good thing to do, you know, the right, quote unquote, right thing to do. So you'll see all that in the video. Um, yeah, super thankful to be feeling a bit better. I'm taking it easy today. Uh, I texted Kuru Usani about a meeting we had today. Um, she was just going to give me a private lesson just um, to catch me up. She's got a very advanced student I'm thrown in with, and he's honking smart, and I'm, I'm struggling. It's great. He's my rabbit now to chase, but it's struggling to keep up with him. And so uh, we're doing that. She, we, we, we decided to do it, but Fawn had a great idea. I've got two smart women in my life, praise God. So Fawn had a great idea. I'd maybe ask uh, Usani if I can do it by, by iPad, by the internet. And, and Usani said, no problem. So, And I'm helping Usani with some uh, clerical stuff around her school, and I can convey those ideas over the iPad as well. So the iPad's probably it's a good fit because I need to rest because tonight I'm walking Save One Market with a friend. <laughs> yeah, Rob's that stupid. If you were, if you were, uh, if you were wondering and you weren't sure, yeah, I, I, I am that stupid. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm determined to do it. It's cool weather today. Um, wear my hiking boots, laced up tight. Maybe wear my back brace if I have to. Maybe even use my, I hate using my cane because it, it really, uh, fun doesn't like. It's the only thing she doesn't really like. I'm a little, I'm a little young to be a putao. I get it. If I need it, it's fine. But you get the, I, I want to be as young for as long as I can. And you can't blame me for that. So anyways, that's, uh, that's my short update. Take care. My name is Rob and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I meant every word I just said with respect.